I'm Shan, this is Shani Reads. I'm going to do a book haul today. Um, for some reason, all the books I have bought are either blue, yellow or white. So I'm wearing blue and yellow. That's kind of accident. It's all accidental, but uh, they're all blue, yellow and white. I have three um, proof copies, but there are books that are already out. I went to visit a bookshop that I used to work in and um, they let me have a little look on the shelves. Um, so thank you very much. With, uh, out of the three, there's only one that I would have... Um, bought or one that I was like really wanting to read and whoop, that one is this What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera and um, I've read a couple of um, Becky Albertelli and really like them um, and I own two other Adam Silvera books but I haven't read them yet although Bert read um, uh, one but they both died at the end quite recently and liked it so I think it's going to be good of them writing both together and yeah I would have read that one and would have bought that one and I'm excited to read that one this is um, Jeffrey Eugenides' short stories, and it's actually one that's been out for quite a while. I think it's been out for a year, but it was still on the uh, proof shelf. Um, and I really like Jeffrey Eugenides. I really enjoyed Virgin Suicides when I read it. Um, I loved a marriage plot, even though I know lots of people didn't like it. Um, and then the Virgin Suicide, I mean, the Middlesex, I never finished, but not because I wasn't liking it. I think it was quite big and dense, and I just probably wandered off into something else. So, yeah, I mean, while I'm not a big short story reader, I think that I like him enough as a writer that it might kind of get me to read them. And then um, the other one I got was this one, which is Small Fryer Memoir by Lisa Brennan Jobs. And this came out in September and it's on the um, Goodreads sort of best of the year. So I know that it's had lots of um, positive reviews and it's the memoir of uh, her father, Steve Jobs. So it's sort of talking about their relationship and I think they had quite a... Um, tricky relationship um, so it does look I think I'll enjoy this one because I do like memoir as well then I bought I mentioned I wanted to buy it so it's the Carl over Kthausgaard inadvertent which is in the why I write series and it's quite a tiny book so it's not going to take very long to read and also the font is quite big so I've got a feeling that um, Carl didn't have a lot to say here <laughs> but uh, so how many pages is it 92 pages and they're quite small and big font. Um, I got the other Why I Write um, by Patti Smith, which is called Devotion. And this one um, had, actually only has about 90 odd pages as well, but the font is kind of bigger. I did sort of talk about this before this Patti Smith one and and um, it, I didn't love it in the same way that I loved Just Kids and M Train. Um, Just Kids is one of my most favorite books anyway. Um, yeah, so it's still good, but it wasn't kind of wasn't in the same league as the other one. So I'm not sure how um, this Carl one is going to compare as well. But I wonder if kind of by their nature that they end up being quite slight anyway, because they are quite short. I think they're probably, I don't know, it says it's based on lectures as well. But I don't know. So that's that one anyway. Um, and I was also talking last week about how I was reading... Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczuk and I will talk about this more when I kind of wrap up some books uh, maybe next week because I was super duper in love with this book so much so that I went and bought Flights by her but I will say though that um, by the end I wasn't as in love with it I didn't really like where it went towards the end not a specific ending to it but yeah I I was disappointed in in where it went um so it kind of whereas I thought it was going to be one of my favorite books of the year now it perhaps isn't but the voice the narrative voice is so amazing um I will talk about it a bit more at another point but her writing was so great that I would just read anything that she's written and this one looks um a little bit different it's it is a novel but I think it's kind of a little bit I've heard people say it's a bit like Maggie Nelson's Bluette so I don't know if it's like little kind of episodic bits it looks like it might be um but it does look really interesting um and then i also bought in the fitzgerald as well this one scenes from a childhood by john fossey and i bought this one because um carl over knausgaard talks about him in my struggle they're all linking up um and about he was kind of one of his teachers and about how i think he's like quite famous in norway but i'm gonna i mean i was also talking about the covers of these I'm going to kind of complain about these covers again. So what is bothering me this time is that 
this book is slightly smaller than the others. So what's that about? And also the, is the font a little bit different? Yes, for some reason we've only got like a lower case for flights and then we've got capitals here. And then the font on the back is way bigger than the font on the back here. I realise this is all like kind of stupid, but then I think if you're going with like a really minimalist look, you have to keep it going and don't put a sticker on it. That's those two. Then I've got Brene Brown, Braving the Wilderness, a quest for true belonging and the courage to stand alone. Um, yes, I don't know a great deal about this one. I, I have read half of another Brene, but I've been reading Daring Greatly and I haven't finished it and I put it down. I'll probably have to start from the beginning again. Um, but I liked the look of this one. I'm really interested in her writing, which says is a trademark mix of research, storytelling and honesty. So I'm really interested in what she has to say. I like, I'm I'm looking for a quest of true belonging and the courage to stand alone. So that's that. Um, when I was watching uh, Portal in the Pages, um, she talked, at, Sophie talked about this new Maggie Nelson poetry book um, called Latest Winter. And she read a poem from it and it was lovely and it made me want to buy it. So I did. And it's got this really lovely um, cover on it as well. Um, so I'll link Sophie's video if I can find it and yes I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm enjoy this one I think. I'm a big Maggie Nelson fan so that's that. And then the last book I've got I'm so excited about. I feel like this book is um, made for me. Um, I also wouldn't have known about it though we were doing, me and Bert were doing the um, voting on your Goodreads book of the year and this came up in the kind of food writing section and it is Hippie Food by Jonathan Kaufman. How Back to the Landers, Long Hairs and Revolutionaries Changed the Way We Eat. I love reading about nutrition. I love reading about hippie food. Um, it says also that it starts from the mystical rock and roll cult known as the Sauce Family and their legendary vegetarian Hollywood restaurant. And I kind of, um, I've read a book about the Sauce Family as well. I watched a film. To the free brown bread at served by activists known as the Diggers in Haight-Ashbury during the Summer of Love. And um, I've also read books about the Diggers, um, Ringo Levy, as I've said, I should have just checked about this, but uh, there's a really great book on New York Review Classics where, about this guy's life in the Diggers. Um, it looks so good, the chapters on tofu, um, chapters on brown bread, macrobiotics. I feel what could have made it slightly better is if they'd put recipes in, that would have like elevated it. But really, when I saw the title of that, I knew it had to be mine. Look at it. Um, yeah, so that's it. And as I said, everything is kind of yellow, blue or white, which is weird. Um, but let me know if you've read any of these guys. Uh, yeah, I seem to be going through. They seem quite serious. I've got one young adult, but they seem books I bought to kind of a little bit more... Um, yeah, a couple of translated fiction, poetry. That's them. Uh, I will see you next week. I might do like wrap up of books I've read. I hope you're having a really lovely um, Sunday. I will, or whenever, whatever day it is when you're watching this, but it's Sunday now and filming it. I will see you next week. Bye.